Welcome to our devotional. Here is where we learn more about our Heavenly Father. Join us. You don't want to miss out on this blessing. Living Stones Church. Good morning, dear family. Today we are having a new week, new day to praise the Lord and to worship Him. So, as you know, we are studying right now Luke, and we are in chapter 5. So, for today, passage we got uh, from verse 17 to verse 39. And in this passage, we can see when Jesus calls Levi, or more known by us by the name of Matthew, and also the discussion about fasting how the religious people was demanding why the disciples of Jesus were not fasting. But today, I want to talk about why Jesus or who Jesus came for. And this is a question that many of us, we think that Jesus came for those who are more saint, who are like good people, those people who are pretending to be closer to God. And I want to clarify this because most of the time, We take that as a wall and we don't go to God because we think that we are not able to go because we are not enough good because we don't have what it needs to be taken by God to receive us and to glorify him as a God. So today I want to read what it says in the Bible in Luke uh, 5 ch chapter um, 30. It says But the Pharisees and their teachers of religious law complained bitterly to Jesus' disciples. Why do you eat and drink with such a scam? Jesus answered them, Healthy people don't need a doctor. Sick people do. I have, I have come to call not those who think they are righteous, but those who know that they are sinners and need to repent. If we read the whole passage, and I know that you are going to do it, you will see that all this problem was caused by Matthew because Matthew was a tax collector. And you know that judge people, they didn't like tax collector because they were friends of Romans. And Romans and judge people, uh, they were no friendly between us. So as we know, uh, Jesus has decided to call Matthew for any purpose in particular one of them we know that there is a um, gospel called uh, gospel done by Matthew which we can see many things about Jesus in different ways as Luke on John or the other apostle doesn't refer to so it's a big blessing for the purpose that he called him but uh, we we know that religious people they didn't agree all about these things so today we need to see that jesus came for those people who were sick those people who were sinners no coming from the one that's supposed to be coming i mean for the pharisees or for the religious people the one that pretend to be closer to god but they come for those who were and here is something like real really important to know one of uh, those ones who know that they are sinners and need to repent. We can read this verse and we know that Jesus had come to call them. And he is the one who makes the call. Jesus is calling the people, but he called the people who recognize that they are sinners. And the main sin that we need to recognize is that we have run away from God. We need to recognize that we decided long time ago to run our lives by our own criteria, by our own understanding. Running away, pretending that God is not here, that God is not God, that there is many things around God, but not God because this is our old school thinking or there is a mythology that is not. So the first thing that we need to know and recognize is that we are sinners. And the main thing is that we haven't recognized that God is upon us. And this is the beginning. And we know 
by the process of the Holy Spirit that the Holy Spirit is going to convince us that we are doing or we are committing sin. And this is a process that only the Holy Spirit can do. No human can do it. And this is one of the people uh, has made a big mistake about all these topics, pretending to be God, putting law, putting new rituals and new laws when God is or he has all the sovereignty to put what it needs to every new Christian to start living their sins. So saying this, the second thing that we know to that Jesus required from someone who accept or whoever who is who he is calling is to repent. Last week we learned about how to repent and how important it is. But um, today I just wanna make it easier for us to understand. And when we repent, we take decision in our heart to don't do it again. So if we put together the first one and the second one, so we could say that when I recognize that I've been running away from God, I ask God for forgiveness because I've been away. But I also repent and I say, God, I don't want to be far away from you anymore because I need you. And in that moment is when Jesus called you because he knows what's happening in your heart, because he knows that you are being humble about you. You are recognizing him as your savior. So this is the point when, when we need to understand that Jesus has come for those people in need. Our enemies, our bosses, our workmates, everyone, especially those who are not good for us, or in other words, those who are difficult to love we need to pray for them and it's what jesus told us to pray for those who doesn't want the good for us because they are in it and we need to pray for them and today i want you and i want to invite you to think about this if you haven't received jesus christ in your heart it's maybe because you are you haven't recognized that you are a sinner and the main sin You haven't put it in God's hands saying, God, I'm here and I'm sorry and I want to receive your forgiveness because I've been forgetting you. I've been running away. And today I want to be in your presence by your will every day and every single time. And the second one, I don't want to live it like that again. I want to live by your side, living your will, your purpose and the new life that you call for me. Saying that, I will invite you to be an instrument as well for others that need a solution in their lives. Don't just be a counselor. Don't be just a good friend. Be an instrument of God and let them know that there is a new way, a new life in God's hands when we recognize him that we are sinners and that if we repent and ask for forgiveness, we will receive it. Because Jesus will hear it, listen, Jesus will listen to us and he will come to us and he will call us according to his will. So I'll invite you to pray. Thanks God for this morning. Thank you for this topic that we are talking right now. We ask you, Lord, for forgiveness because we have run away from you many times and we have done our lives by our will. But we, we need you, Lord and we repent and we want to be by your side every single day i want you to be my lord i want you to be my everything i want to live my life by your side every single day lord thank you for this new week thank you because your mercy you refresh it every single day thank you because you love me first and that's why i love you back my lord thank you for my family Thank you for my church. Thank you for everyone that you have put in around me to let me know that you are with me. We praise in the name. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ this morning. Amen. Family, I hope you have a beautiful morning, a beautiful day and a beautiful week. See you all next weekend. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you'll connect again for our next devotional. May God bless you.